Well, I guess the winter preview is over, uh, because winter is officially upon us. And sadly, for many of us, that also means that seasonal affective disorder is upon us. Uh, that's also known as seasonal depression, or the winter blues, or a temporary excuse for being a dick at work. Uh, and it turns out it's not actually weather-related, it's a neurochemical response to reduced hours of daylight. In other words, it's the shorter days that make the sadder brains. And in the U.S., the further you are from the equator, uh, the more people it seems to affect. So, up here in Vermont, we get it pretty bad. <laughs> now, the most common treatment is uh, light therapy. That's sitting in front of a special light box that's been designed to mimic the effects of sunlight. But UVM researcher Kelly Rohan just published a new study that found cognitive behavioral therapy may be a more effective and long-lasting treatment. That's basically the idea that changing the way we think and behave can improve how we feel. And part of that involves finding activities that bring you joy that you can do throughout the winter. Now this may come as a surprise, but our own resident wellness expert, Divinity Chakra, uh, absolutely hates the winter. So I thought it would be cool to ask her to try and find some activities that bring her joy to share with us. Uh, let's see what she came up with. Divinity, are you okay? Oh, I'm great. 110%. fan fantastic, Brian. Okay. Here are some of the things I do to stay well during the winter. Have something to take care of, like a plant or a cat. <sighs> Have a well-balanced meal. Snuggle up with a good book. Paint a pretty picture. Take a warm bath make sure it's extra bubbly and don't get out until early May. Yep. Channel your emotions into a nice song. Okay, that's great. All right. Maybe dial that back. I think what Divinity was trying to tell us is that cognitive behavioral therapy is not something we can do on our own. Uh, it involves working directly with a qualified professional to identify and improve those thought and behavioral patterns that cause us psychological distress. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this, and maybe even join one of Dr. Rohan's studies, follow the link below. Winter doesn't have to suck. Winter doesn't have to be depressing. All right. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be well, be warm, and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time. Boy,